Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time it's a leader LAG27 audio generator. Let's get a little bit of light down here. So this one got four bands. So this is the frequency multiplier. And that means 10 hertz to 10 megahertz, right? And we got a really, really good smooth gearbox going on in here. And the readout is so nice and clear. And by the way, the whole unit looks like it's brand new. I don't know if we can show the quality of the... I mean, what a mint condition. It's from about 1984. So I am super impressed to see this condition. And if we walk a little bit through this unit oh there's just a tiny little dent right there that is all this is probably a little bit of assembly and here is our serial number it's impossible to read yeah i'm a little bit curious to look inside this one but of course it's from Japan and 1984 so I expect this one is like there's nothing in there just a little transformer and two little boards because they are really really good to make stuff super super cheap and simple and cost optimized they start doing that really really early <laughs> I mean this is really really close to what I expected Maybe there's one more circuit board compared to what I... Yeah, okay. Of course we've got a circuit board around the multiplier here. With some trimmers for accuracy. A really good circuit board with all that. So that will be the high frequency adjustment goes to the directly to the oscillator board and that is the capacitor that is responsible for the frequency setup oh we got component designators written in copper on the bottom side maybe there's also a little yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we even got designators on the top. It's impossible to see, but we got white silk screen designators on the top of the circuit board. Shielded cables. Not a lot of manual soldering around and the um, yeah, you can definitely see this is cost cost optimized. It, it's not going to take that many seconds to to assemble this unit, and that is exactly what they did right. See input circuit board, fuses. Ah, oh, voltage selector is really nice. So you just pull this and then click it into the correct voltage nicely written here so you don't need a manual or anything like that and then there's just a little voltage regulator or something like that oh there's even a little transistor going on okay and then the three or four five four four wires from the power supply go to the main board. Really? 
Yeah, okay. Oh, there's a there's a big hefty thick thick film I see or something going oh is this this is very loose. I better go and check that. Let's let's look at that. That is pretty nice. Yeah, but I, I need to go a little bit deeper into my investigation because I'm looking for leak capacitors or anything to worry about. But so far, everything feel nice and stable. We don't have any loose parts with products of this old sometimes knobs or stuff just gets loose and so that is a part of my investigation to check for all the different things that i can fix mechanically but let's uh try and power this up oh there's another there's another thing i really love to mention even the power cable is it's really really thick but amazingly soft they feel it's just really wow wow how did they make it so flexible and really really sexy if this is not normal for a cable this thick but this is nice ha i love it yeah this is good so and then What exactly is going on here? Okay, so this is so this is the sine wave output, external sync. Uh huh. So really okay. So. So external synchronization is always a sine wave. I did not expect that. I, I, I was expecting it to be a square wave and then the always a square wave, right? And then this all up the main output. You can of course see. So this is main output sine wave. So if we switch it to square wave main output is square wave but my synchronization is always a sine wave how weird is that okay so what about the frequencies so if we go for 10 like that 10 times 100 is one kilohertz right and my scope here says 993 Okay, but we can also make one kilohertz here. Let's look down here. 100 times 10. And that is 1043. So that is the accuracy. So here it's a 4% error. Oh, and it was supposed to be able to handle 10 hertz. Okay, can you do 10 hertz? Do, 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 do. Here you go. 10.06. <laughs> oh, how about that? And it should be able to do 10 megahertz. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at that. And then that was 103 kilohertz. Where are we? 100 here is 974 kilohertz. And uh, here is our sine wave 
output 973 104 10.2 okay so it's not super accurate and i can even see it's the distortion is not super super at the very high but if we go down a little bit then it's nice and fine again so i think it's for audio <laughs> not 10 megahertz really this is crazy but it's really really good all the way up to 10 or to 100 kilohertz and it's only using 3.8 watts that is pretty nice and i really really like the the feeling and and all that I think it takes a little this is quite classic for an oscillator like this there is a little bulb uh, in the level feedback system and that takes a little bit of time see but in this one is really really fast wow well, wow well, a nice audio generator from leader i think that is actually all i wanted to say there's not a lot to say about this one it is just this uh yeah nice and uh pretty so it's going to be one of them super nice and short videos so yeah thank you for watching bye bye